So if you know me, if I go to any restaurant, the one thing I have to try is the bravas and see you know, if it's worth even coming back, right? These are really, really good. What's up guys, Patrick here, tour guide and your guide to Barcelona, here with my boy Rafa. We're at the Casa Diaz, we're gonna check out the third best bravas in the world. Let's check them out. Vamos, vengan a mi tierra. All right, so we're here at Casa Diaz. It's a Venezuelan restaurant here with the third best bravas in the world. I'm here with my buddy Rafa, who's not only a friend, he's a teammate, and most importantly, Venezuelan. So we're gonna check out these amazing, amazing bravas and see what they're like. Probamos, no? Si. Bueno, coge. So we've got two types of bravas here. We've got the ones that won best, I guess best in here in Barcelona. These are the third best bravas in the world. And then we've got a special plate, which is teque bravas. And teque bravas are basically the same bravas, but with tequeños, which is a special uh, Venezuelan treat. That's why Rafa's here to tell me how good they are. What are, que, que son pequeños? Que son un dedo de harina de trigo relleno con mucho, mucho queso. Let's try them out. Basically, at the end of last year, they had a contest which was the best bravas in the world. And the first place prize went over to a tavern in Madrid. I think the second one went over to Salamanca. And here in Barcelona, we had the third best bravas in the world right here at Casa Diaz, which if you're over in Barcelona, is right by the Sagrada Familia. So if you wanna come over and check it out, it is a Venezuelan restaurant, so you get a lot of different food in there, but the bravas definitely are worth checking out. The potato's done really nicely. The sauce is a little spicy, so that orange sauce that you saw earlier is a little bit spicier than maybe what you're accustomed to or what you might see in other places here in Barcelona. But the white sauce on top, that alioli, which a lot of times is that garlic sauce, isn't really strong, it's really, really smooth. And we asked, and the chef actually wanted it to be a little bit smoother so that afterwards you can talk to the person. There's a joke here that every time you eat alioli, someone's gotta have to say, oh, be careful who you're talking to or be, be careful who you're kissing afterwards. And this, with this sauce, it's actually really, really smooth. It's nice and you know, maybe we can still have a conversation afterwards. One of the panelists for the competition is actually Edu from Barcelona, who if you haven't checked it out, he's got an Instagram account, which is Bravas Barcelona, which is spectacular, but if you can't make it over here right now, you can always go on there and he's got a bunch of kind of the menus, you can check it out for yourself. It's even hanging here on the wall. Now you've seen Casa Diaz, you've seen the third best Bravas in the world. I'm stuffed, I'm full, I had a really good time. Like I said before, if you're over by the Sagrada Familia, come right around the corner and it's just right here. If you liked the video, make sure you give it that thumbs up, leave a comment below if you've ever been to Casa Diaz or what your favorite bravas in Barcelona are. And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out other videos like this one. We'll hope to get some more as we start to open up all these restaurants a little bit more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.